Welcome back for another episode of Backbed Boatworks, Saving Soul of Greece. Here, we're going to try to utilize some of these leftover scraps of expanded foam that we cut off when we were making the first and second bulkheads up front. And we're going to see if it's possible to maybe make a third one. Because this stuff is pretty expensive and we don't want to waste it so I took some measurements of the hull in between the stringers where the third bulkhead is going to lie and I'm here marking it on the table so I could just have a rough pattern or idea of how big this foam piece needs to be and also aid me in putting this jigsaw puzzle together Yeah, we're looking at $200 for a one gallon kit, which consists of one gallon of part A and one gallon of part B. And in making this foam board, we use just a little over a gallon. So yeah, we got over $100 invested in this foam and we want to use it. Yeah, this piece I keep um, referring to, this is the original part of the hull. Um, the only part of the hull that gave it any structural support between the stringers. And this was positioned um, just stern of the mud bar holes in the middle of the stringers. And you can see how small it is. So we're trying to fit it and maximize the height of the new one. While also making sure it's not too high because where this one is positioned, it sits right underneath the step down as you enter the covered area of the hard top. Okay, I don't know if this is going to work, experiment time. Okay, so this is the pieces put together. I beveled all the seams, right? Because we're going to attempt to pour some expanding foam in here to glue these all together. So, will it work? We don't know. About to find out. Alright, there goes. Come, come, come. Come, 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 and y'all don't even have a, a organized workplace. I'm gonna trip myself over trying to get here. Mm -hmm. Not too much now. Okay, some more over here. So how long does this take to expand, please? It should please. be expanding in a moment's okay. notice. Yeah. Okay, we we'll put this in there. There it comes. You got weight on it? Mm-hmm. Don't let it get on, you know. Poofing up. How long does it take to get hard? This amount, probably a couple minutes it'll set up. 
trying to keep the weight on it so the foam doesn't bulge it up at the bottom because it leaked out in the bottom originally I mean when the first pour it leaked straight down out so we don't want it to expand that way we want it to come back up through the seams all right it finished expanding now Yes, we did a little, a little overkill with the paw. Like I say, we ain't know what we doing. So I just need this to harden up, and then we can start trimming. All right. So while we're waiting on our foam to harden up, we gonna make a quick, rough template. In the general area where it was, which is just aft of the lumbar holes. Okay, I got this sanded down pretty smooth, both sides, and I got the general outline marked out based on template we made yesterday. So I'm just gonna cut it out and then we can shape it to the hull. Okay, so our first side of the third bulkhead layup done. We got uh, six layers of 1708 and three layers of three quarter ounce chop mat, laminate in between, and we want to finish it off. Yep, one side done. Once it's cured, flip it, same thing on the other side. You gotta see, I was skeptical at like first, but it was pretty handy.
not too shabby for a one man barn in the middle of the night not too shabby alright a bulkhead nice and trim it's a fiberglass you can see six layers of 17 away five sixteenths of an inch pretty decent Okay, it's currently dark, but this is our light, and it does a good job as you can see. So I'm going to get into tabbing the side of this bulkhead. I already did all the prep, so we're getting straight into glassing. <laughs> 